The finals just got a ton of community updates, which also includes some things with the world tour, the drip competition that I covered previously, and even a community run esports tournament with all the details there with that, including a brand new partnership and event, as well as a whole bunch more. What's up world, well, Utopia back here with another video, today we're checking out all things the finals. Okay, so first up we have some information on the world tour as well as that new partnership. Now this week just looks to be like a normal world tour update, as there wasn't anything changed or anything fancy there. Overall, it was just kind of gearing away from the Halloween event. However, this week we did have a brand new partnership that happened with the world tour sponsor or the current world tour sponsor, where we have this mentioned over on the Discord by Oscar. He went out here to say, welcome to Fashion Week, as it is Isolt, who's known for their fashion. As that cup continues with a passion for fashion, dress to impress and submit your best look for the chance to win a prize. They're going to be partnering with the Finals Runway subreddit, that is to celebrate this community's incredible fashion sense and boundless creativity. In true Isolt fashion, they're challenging you all to be anybody, everybody, and Isolt, which is going to lead to rewarding the top 25 most fashionable contestants with everything from merch to multibucks. Well, they did detail there's gonna be more information soon however we do have that new information we're jumping over to that extended info they did mention here that because it's esult sponsorship for the world tour that is why this partnership is happening with the final runway subreddit now as they mentioned here the full rules are going to be listed over on that sub i'll go over a few of those or the major ones and also link to the post down below but as they say here the top 25 submissions will receive rewards with everything from IRL merch to even multibucks, where they do link to the finals runway subreddit. Now starting off, the submissions have started since yesterday and will end on November 17th. There will be a poll on November 18th and the 19th, which the winner will be announced on November 20th. And as they mentioned here, this is in full collaboration with Embark. So really cool that this subreddit was able to get into a collaboration. I know they've asked me before and I just haven't been on top of that overall as I've still been trying to figure out the transmon competition stuff. Since there's so many happening right now, I'm actually going to postpone mine. However, mostly everything is in place and I want to do this kind of as a live scenario. Whereas in these cases, these are voted on and pulled over a course of several days. I want to do mine with a live stream and coinciding with a map that I pick as well as the new Discord bot that I created. I'll let you guys know what details on that sometime in the future. However, they did go over prizes for this competition. They have 20,000 multibucks to give away. Where the first place gets 1,150 multibucks, a finals t-shirt, a hat, and stickers. Second and third place get that same amount with a final shirt and stickers. And then fourth and fifth place get that same amount with a finals t-shirt. Sixth through fifteenth also get that amount of multibucks. With sixteenth through twenty-fifth get 500 multibucks. So this is very lucrative. They're giving away a lot here. They do mention things like what they're looking for, the focus on color, poses, how the elements of your outfit come together. Judging will rely on community upvotes and input to determine the winners, where they will also include a few entries that they handpick with some adjustments there. Now the way to actually enter this competition is to post with the right flair, upload your favorite outfit using the Esalt competition flair, and you are limited to only one post per participant, where multiple entries may lead to disqualification, so make sure you're getting this correct if you do. Again, I'll leave a link to this post down below where you can check out all the rules of course speaking of the drip contests we did have the halloween one where they did showcase the winners here so shout out to minty star over bartleby and skittles and they showcase all the winners here with a nice little infograph. On the topic of contests, we've also had another contest if runway fashion stuff isn't your thing, which that is actually in esports with the finals. Now, this is not an official partnership as I know, but the finals has been tweeting back and forth and showcasing this esport, or at least this esport competition. So if you haven't been seeing already, currently the breakout esport is hosting the World 24. They've been showcased before. They had one of the original esport championships or tournaments for the finals. Looks like now they're really gearing into it where they're actually doing a world championship. And they also got a shout out from the finals Twitter, the official Twitter, as you can see here. Now they've already gotten through some or most of the tournament where they now are in the playoff phase. However, that does start tomorrow on the 16th. So if you want to check that out, there is a ton of quarter finalist matches here, ranging all the way from 1.10 p.m. EST to 4.40 p.m. EST. I'll leave a link down below to this website where you can check out the full schedule and all the groups that were there, as well as another page that contains the bracket system and what the bracket will look like, and even the previous brackets in case you did miss the group stage part of the event, where that showcases how things did actually end up playing out. Again, I'll leave links to everything down below so you can check out breakouts 
social, including their YouTube channel, their Twitch channel, their website where you can see all the different team names and different players within the team tournaments. It does seem like they host quite a lot of esports. They even get into Tekken a little bit too. So pretty cool overall that they're jumping into the finals. And again, this does seem very professional. They have this very well set up. Again, I've talked about them way back in the day when they first started hosting tournaments for the finals. So I'm glad to see that they stuck with it and they still have stuff to show for that. Moving on from the contests and tournaments, we do have some more stuff geared toward the community or around the community. Or first up here, I have been running polls on my Discord for the finals. This is to try to gauge how you guys feel about the different mechanics or even different things that are happening like the recent wheel mechanic and gotcha system. We do have a section for this called poll of the day. And so if you are wanting to check out stuff there or even participate in these polls, other than of course the finals runway section, then you can give your thoughts. There's a ton of input here. And I do as well as want to use a lot of this feedback in my future videos. I might also run a poll here on YouTube for this, especially of course this one recently. What's your thoughts and opinions about the wheel and gotcha? So if you want to check that out, just head to my Discord. I'll include a link to it down below and you can head to the poll of the day section where we do basically a poll every single day. Now it's not always around the final. Sometimes it's IRL and other fun stuff, but it does gauge and gather some input there. Moving on to some more community stuff. We have this one here where this person visited Monaco in real life. And it is quite insane how much of a replica these are to the actual in-game items or even in-game buildings. This person showcases a bunch of different imagery from Monaco and what it actually looks like, and it is nearly a one-to-one -one what it is in-game. It's really cool that they use real locations to actually do some of the mapping here, and even this part where it's just like the underground garage section of Monaco. Again, it's just really cool how much they captivate this in the game as well. Where well, we had another Reddit post here where this is my guys, it's real post, where they again are showcasing off Las Vegas. Now, most people are used to the Las Vegas Boulevard, but this is actually Freeman Street, as a commenter points out here, which it does have more of a classic Vegas look and feel. Again, just still really cool to see that these locations mirror the in-game ones so well. We've also had some more community feedback around some of the cosmetics, especially the recent sponsorships. We've had this post here that says, what's the point of printing thing if there's no inspect animation that shows it? A lot of people were a little bit upset with their recent sponsorship picks with this new season. Some more excited, for example, the ones that picked Holto. So for this one to not have an inspect animation, I know people are a little bit salty there. Curious on your guys' feedback there. Again, I might host a poll which you guys think of the sponsorships pertaining specifically to these cosmetics. If you're upset with your choice or what have you. Again, more than likely, I'm going to host that poll first on the Discord side of things. If you want to check that out, you can. Of course, last up here, and speaking of the Discord, we do have those showcased off from the Finals Runway, and more specifically, the Star Models page. We do have this one here by Choopy, who showcases off what looks like a very scary costume, but it would mirror, again, the Halloween season, with some nice overall black and gray cosmetics and aesthetic there, and the skull mask wings to top it off. Next up here, we have another cosplay-esque look, this one here from Lord BH, which is from an old movie but a classic, Leon the Professional, showcasing Leon himself. Again, this is pretty accurate overall, and I really like the aesthetic they went for with this. They also even show off Natalie Portman's character, who plays Matilda, so again, some really cool cosmetic combinations there. Overall, it should about cover for today's video. Go ahead and subscribe in the next one. Deuces!